begin to have some damages. Have you wondered why children play in the sun for so long and they have no skin damages at all? Like as a child, you can run around in the sun and you have no redness, no, no, nothing happening on your skin. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Adaogo. In this channel, I talk about skincare. In this channel, you're going to learn lots of things about skincare. You're going to learn the good habits of skincare, the bad habits of skincare, the things you should do and the things you should never do when it comes to taking care of your skin. Like, I'm going to teach you how to be intentional about your skin in this channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please kindly subscribe, okay? In my last video, I talked about antioxidants and how it can help fight free radicals from damaging your skin. And I promised I was going to show you guys the antioxidants that I use. So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys all the antioxidants that I use. I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you guys what they actually do, the ones I use, what they actually do on your skin. I'm also going to suggest one or two products if you can get mine you know you can actually get one of these you mustn't use the one i'm using okay you can actually get the one readily available uh, for you it mustn't be my own so i'll have one or two suggestions to make on other products other brands you can actually get it mustn't be my own brand the brand it mustn't be the brand that i use it might be any other brand out there so i have some I wrote down some of the brands here so i won't be forgetting so each time you see me look here that means i'm trying to remember some of the things i want to tell you guys okay the first antioxidant serum i want to talk about is vitamin c serum okay we all know that vitamin c serum is the most popular antioxidant serum all right and it produces collagen on your skin I want you guys to know that you know when you take collagen i hope you guys know that those tablets those collagen tablets that you guys take doesn't actually produce the collagen on your skin it doesn't it doesn't work you can actually can do your own research about that if you're taking collagen supplement you're actually wasting your time so vitamin c serum or even when you take vitamin c it can actually help to produce collagen on your skin and it's going to boost collagen we all know that as we age Will begin to produce less collagen and vitamin c serum actually helps to produce this collagen for us i currently use this one from dermaceutic this um this vitamin c serum try vita c30 the pictures will be here guys don't worry don't bother if you can't see it from here this vitamin c serum is 30 percent vitamin c serum that is huge guys so I wouldn't, advise, I wouldn't advise anybody that is just starting out with the vitamin C to get this one though. This is the one that you use years later after you've built your tolerance with vitamin C. Even me, after two years of using vitamin C serum, I still had issues with this one, but I'll get to that later. But I want to talk about the vitamin C, this particular one first. This vitamin C serum has... 15% ascorbic acid, okay, and the remaining 15% is from derivatives. I'm actually more concerned about ascorbic acids. That is because that is the one that has been proven to work when it comes to producing collagen and um, preventing wrinkles. And I want you to know that vitamin C is actually preventive. It doesn't actually, it's something you want to start using early for preventive measures, not for curative measures, if you get what I'm trying to say. So when it comes to vitamin C, um, some people said it's not compulsory you use vitamin C. Some people said um, it's compulsory you use vitamin C. I'll state Dr. Amir Karam, that is if I pronounced his name very well, but I'll have the name on the screen here. You can actually go and search about him i think he's a surgeon cosmetic surgeon so he's outstating he said that vitamin c in skincare is compulsory is mandatory i know the reason why many people do not want to use vitamin c serum is because sometimes it causes irritation on their skin right that is why some people do not want to use vitamin c serum me too like when i stay using this one i had some kind of irritations and when i use the one from polar's choice 
I had irritations, but I think it all boils down to how do you use it? Like this one, the, the manufacturer of this one actually said introduce progressively and I did not introduce progressively. <laughs> Maybe that's why I, I experienced a bit of some kind of irritation at first. Even the one from Polar Shores, I had a bit of irritations from it. I was wondering how come I can actually get you this from vitamins. I've been using this for a very long time. So I came to understand that there's a way you use this thing. There's a way you use vitamin C if you are prone to irritation so it doesn't irritate your skin. Right now, this one doesn't irritate my, irritate my skin anymore. It's a whooping 30%. So what do you expect? And they told you, yeah, if, even though some doctors recommend if you're going to use this one, just apply it on your face for about maybe... 30 minutes then wash it away but i didn't do it like that Man, i'm not about to do that kind of stuff okay i had a way of actually using it and right now my skin is used to it and you know another reason why people don't really like using vitamin c serum is because they say it's expensive and it doesn't we have cheap ones so and they say it's expensive and the fact that it's not always terrible but this particular one, I'm not asking you guys to go and buy this one. No, 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 no. I'm actually going to make a, if you must use this vitamin C, then I'm going to make a video separately on how to use this particular vitamin C serum. This is nice, very nice. One of my favorite uh, uh, scientists is what she uses. That was how I got to know about this vitamin C. So one of the reasons why people, again, do not want to use vitamin C is because they say it's not stable. You can buy it expensive and before you know what is happening, it's turning orange, right? And some of these vitamin C will tell you to use and just three months then dish it away no matter how much you buy it like the one from Polar's Choice when I got that one in two weeks it was already turning orange right so and it was expensive like 30 something pounds but this particular one they said use in for 12 months like this one when you open it you can use it for 12 good months without it um, destabilizing like it's it's just there it doesn't change color i don't know what how they did this i don't know how they did this but i've been using this particular one since july this one since july you still have lots of them remaining and i don't even have any issues like when you open it you can use it for 12 months this is not the one you this is not the one that you open you'll be scared to use it for maybe oh i'm going to use this for only three months even if it's finished even if it's not finished you just have to throw it away but this one six months since july is still this way and my love for it increased and i went and bought the second one this one is not finished but trust me i do not want to run out of this that's why i bought this that is it I, I, they changed the pack anyway but this one is bigger this one is smaller i bought this so that i do not run out of these guys I don't know i love this so much you know what vitamin c can actually do for you and i've noticed lots of differences on my skin since i started using this vitamin c serum so if you usually experience irritations with vitamin c i'm going to actually make a video to teaching you guys on how to use it it's not something you use every day you use it with wisdom although from the one from timeless i was using it every day with no irritation i wish that one i could still get it here but it's becoming impossible to actually get a um, timeless vitamin C serum here in England. And I want to suggest some vitamin C serums you can actually get. You can get the one from Timeless. You can get Roshan. It has 20%. The one from Timeless has 20% too. The one from Timeless has vitamin E and ferulic acid in it also. But this Roshan one, I don't know if it has um, vitamin E in it because vitamin E helps to boost the efficacy of vitamin c serum then you can get the one from skin deva you know the pictures will be here that one has 20 percent vitamin c serum and vitamin e in it plus ferulic acid okay that is it for vitamin c if you want your what vitamin c can actually do for your skin it can help brighten your skin it can help reduce hyperpigmentation although you should not expect drastic improvement when it comes to hyperpigmentation the reason why we should use uh, vitamin c to even start with is the antioxidant benefit that it gives to the skin but along the line you notice that it will help brighten your skin help reduce hyperpigmentation helps to promote collagen i've said this before vitamin c can help reduce redness and and it can also help you from not developing sagging skin because of course when you have collagen built on your skin your skin will not sag it will not 
it will not sag when you are fatty okay so that is it for vitamin c serum so the second antioxidant serum that i use is niacinamide niacinamide my favorite of all skincare products i love this so much because i cannot especially the one from the ordinary i cannot talk about my skincare journey without mentioning niacinamide this ingredient surprised me when i was having lots of breakouts lots of breakouts if you know me very well you know i love this i love this so much i don't love i don't like running out of it but what most people don't know is that niacinamide is also an antioxidant my niacinamide multitasks it does a lot if you don't know that niacinamide is an antioxidant know it today it's an antioxidant okay niacinamide helps with hyperpigmentation it helps to calm the skin down it helps to calm inflammation on your skin it can help with breakouts it can help to fight redness like this thing right here is everything if you can't use the one from um, the ordinary polar choice makes niacinamide i've used that one the reason why i stopped using it is because it doesn't last long only two weeks for the money i didn't use it up to one month i think it's just it just lasted about three weeks oh god for the money oh. okay that's it the one from the ordinary the one from polar's choice i do not want to recommend the ones that i have not used guys i don't i do not want to so it's the niacinamide that i've used that i'm mentioning here okay the polar choice polar choice makes niacinamide 20 percent they make 10 percent right this one is 10 percent you can always get just the 10 percent one okay so I'm trying to be careful not to mention the ones I'm not very sure of. Like the vitamin C that I mentioned now, I've used the one from Timeless. The other two that I mentioned, I've not used them, but I know people that have used them and it's been doing so well for their skin. That, that's why I'm, I was actually able to mention those ones because I've used Timeless, okay? And those, those other two, I haven't used the Russian one. The, the Russian and the skin they I haven't used, but I know people that have used it. That's why I'm speaking about that one. If you know me very well, I try to avoid mentioning products that I've not used or someone close to me have not used. I do not mention, I do not suggest product based on reading the ingredients. I have to make sure I've used it or someone very close to me have used that product for me to actually actually recommend or even suggest it to anybody because we are not here to gamble with people's skin okay <laughs> another antioxidant i use is this one coexine q10 serum this one from timeless guys timeless this particular this particular ingredients this q10 mm, also known as ubiquinone we produce this naturally on our from on our body naturally from when we are young we produce this but you know as we grow older these things at least from when we get to 20 it begins to diminish okay that is just the truth about this ingredient it's naturally produced in our body but as we grow older just like every antioxidant as we grow older those antioxidants that help to fight our skin radicals when we are little it begin to diminish that is the same thing with this one as you grow older once you get to your 20 21 or more you don't they reduce for real that is why when we now expose our skin to the sun you get me you begin to have some damages have you wondered why children play in the sun for so long and they have no skin damages at all like as a child you can run around in the sun and you have no redness no no nothing happening on your skin that is because as a child you produce things like this easily but as we grow older we need to be intentional about our skin that's why you need antioxidants and this particular one this particular ingredient is been proven that when applied topically on your skin it helps to produce energy yeah that helps to regenerate and repair your skin like 
the energy you get me that helps to regenerate and repair your skin that is when you apply it topically that's what it does this ingredient helps to combat oxidated damages on your skin that, that can actually occur through exposure sun exposure through you know pollution that causes free radicals on the skin this ingredient if you apply it on your skin whether in the morning or at night it just helps to combat those oxidative damages it helps in a way that you know those oxidated damages before it even become begin to do its thing you know cause damages this thing is here to fight it that is just the, the truth is one ingredient that i will actually advise you if you can to add in your antioxidant routine skincare routine okay and the one from timeless that has other um beautiful ingredient in it and one thing about this one is if you apply it, it it looks as if you're applying water on your face very hydrating like this is very nice and if you can actually get it get it please it also this one also produces collagen this ingredient it also produce collagen okay and the japanese people they use this a lot have you wondered why those people hardly actually age with their beautiful skin they use this a lot in their skincare and this this ingredient will help firm your skin it will it will i promise you it will <laughs> and one thing about this product is that it's not harsh it's a product that you can actually use with any other skin ingredient with any other ingredients like it does work so well with vitamin c serum for real it works so well with vitamin c serum other brands that make this ingredient you might want to try is um the one from inky list people said it is nice i've not tried it guys i'm just making suggestion here i've not tried that one but people that have used it said oh that they liked it that is nice i'm just saying in case if you can lay your hands on this one Inky list makes it boots makes it i have not used the one from boots either nivea makes it they have it in their face cream right now i don't know how many percent that they have actually in their face cream but they actually have it in nivea um the pictures will be here guys don't worry you serene also has this um you serene q10 anti anti wrinkle okay and um, indie lee they have the tuna also like all these ones i've mentioned trust me i've not used them it's just that people have been saying good things about them i'm sticking to this this one i used and this one i'm sticking to okay if you can actually get this one this is the one i can actually assure you that you have no issues with because i've used it and when i was using that I was using it with the timeless but i've used it with the timeless vitamin c serum and it works wonders only that i can't lay my hands with it um, on the timeless vitamin c serum right now Another set of English that I want to talk about is vitamin E and ferulic acid. These two are antioxidants. And the good thing is that you do not have to go and get them alone, vitamin E alone, or get ferulic acid alone. No. What you have to do is look for vitamin C that has them. Many companies that have vitamin C serums that have vitamin E in it and ferulic acid in it. This is a combined power force. Like, you know what it means to combine these antioxidants together in one particular serum so instead of going to go and look, get vitamin e on its own as an antioxidant or ferulic acid on its own as an antioxidant just look for the one that has vitamin d just look at the vitamin c that has these ingredients in them and start using them okay just buy you don't have to buy separate ones okay like this like the one that i use it has vitamin e in it it has ferulic acid in it the ones i've recommended like timeless and skin diva it has vitamin c and it has vitamin E and ferulic acid in it also. So, vitamin A, that is retinol, retin A. They are antioxidants or it is antioxidants, okay? So, I finished this one with no issues whatsoever. People do not use retinol in or retin A because they believe it's maybe because of the purging stage but trust me sometimes you can actually escape that purging stage if you know what you are doing so i have a video on how i use this i'll link it up here and i'll make another video in the future very soon on what you should do to avoid irritations while using tretinol as someone who has okay. this is a vitamin a serum this is the gel part the gel from this particular brand that i use i want you to know that this particular this vitamin a is the one that actually if you have wrinkles already on your face 
it can actually help to actually reduce them you know the ones that i've mentioned those other anti under antioxidants i've mentioned those ones are preventive are for preventive measures but this one it can serve as preventive and curative measure okay this one you can actually use it to actually reduce you can actually use it to reduce those wrinkles on your face i had one of my um videos i have someone comment that after watching my video they still use that she started using i don't know is whether she's is a she okay i think she's a she her name is i don't know if i pronounce her name very well forgive me seni she commented on one of my videos that she started using the tretinoin and the wrinkles that she has on her face have reduced i'll get the comment and put it here so you guys to see it i trust this very warm it's very nice it does a lot to the skin it makes you glow oh my god and it makes you look so youthful if i use it this i'm sorry to say but you will never age you will never you will never if you're using this it's just that sometimes you know people because of the purging stage which can actually be avoided like the lady that um commented in my video saying that she had been using this and the way i directed my video she didn't experience any purge. You just get to know how to use this. This is another antioxidant. I would advise you actually to jump into. You, you must not use the tretinoin. The tretinoin is usually prescription. Although some people can actually buy it over for you know you can actually buy it somehow. We buy it without being prescribed. And if you are scared because of using tretinoin on his own, you can get um retinoid and retinol. Okay, Paula's choice makes is it retinoid or retinoid i'm not very sure the one they make but i've used one of polar's choice i've used polar's choice own with no irritation that particular one i don't have any kind of irritation from it so that's what i'm going to suggest that is the alternative i can suggest with this one the one from polar's choice and the one from the ordinary the ordinary you can use the ordinary one to now build your skin up to the extent that you can now try other retinoid or tretinoid the one from um the ordinary do not expect drastic change immediately just something you want to use to be able to build that skin tolerance that retin a vitamin a skin tolerance okay is don't expect magic but it's good like better than not using it better than not using vitamin a at all just use the one from the ordinary then with time when you learn how to do these things then you can jump onto this one this one is very very nice alternative the ordinary and the polar choice one you can want to try it then build your skin up to to, to start using this one this video is getting long <laughs> i don't intend that it's going to be this long but i have to explain myself in details if i don't explain myself in details then i don't want to leave any information out of this video i'm so sorry if this this i'm so sorry if this video is long but this one from polar choice is another antioxidant that i've been using Mm, about 35 pounds i don't think i'll buy it again because i've replaced it with something else okay and it's very nice um it has 15 fruit extracts 15 good fruit extracts if i have money in the future i will always want to try this but for now i replace it with something a bit cheaper Um, it fights multiple signs of aging um revitalizes the look of damaged skin 95 percent natural polar stress seed and this is nice to no irritations whatsoever it's very calming it's one of those antioxidants that when you use them you won't even have any issue to start with so, so if you can actually afford this one it lasted me surprisingly because polar stress product normally doesn't actually last but this one surprisingly it lasted for at least about four months i used it was what the money Okay, but sometimes you just want to try different things so this is the one it just i just have little of it remaining right it's almost finished just this is an antioxidant you can actually get it it's nice it's very very nice i just want to show you you know this video is just basically showing you guys the ones i use right so this is once one of the ones i use then this one from the ordinary fecogeno i don't know if i pronounce it very well all the science big names so this one five percent is very very nice it's an antioxidant that is all you have to know about it an antioxidant and 
I'm just trying to make sure this video doesn't get longer than it is now so i'm going to be fast this one i do not have any alternative product to suggest for it you see that you get it or you don't get it this, this is very nice no alternative outside yes to suggest get it or you don't very very nice okay another one from dcm that is those people that produce it the ordinary okay noid noid these people, this one is a survivor zero. It's an antioxidant. It's packed with plenty of antioxidant. It even has that um, fecogeno from the ordinary inside it. It has lots of antioxidants, guys. And I wrote it down here. Let me mention them for you guys. Um, it has astaxanthin. <laughs> okay, and that's what that is what gives it that orange. Um, color that this thing has it helps this particular antioxidant helps to protect the cells damage and it has inoline it has amino acid it has lutein lots of them i don't want to start talking about in this video just know that this particular product is packed with plenty antioxidant lots of them okay another antioxidant you might want to try which i do not have here presently is resveratrol it is actually produced from berries and grapes it's a very good antioxidant i've used lots of them from the ordinary like it's nice the one from the ordinary is very very nice trust me it's very nice that one you can mix it with other serums and apply on your face you can even mix it with the the fake fake no no joe <laughs> one and apply on your face guys so it's very nice it has anti fungal and antibacterial properties in it is very nice but before i end this video i want to state something when it comes to antioxidant you didn't guys use antioxidant as oh it's not working for me i did not see it doing anything for my skin and you have already you only use it for one month or two months when it comes to antioxidant it's something you want to use for its long-term benefits it is something that accumulates as you keep using it it's something that you're going to see as opposed to short-term usage it's long term for you to see the effect it's working now it's accumulating on your skin it's actually working but you're not seeing it you're going to see it when your mates that are not using it start aging when you are like for example if you are 40 and you're still using antioxidant let's say when you're in your early 30s and your friend who is also 40 is not using antioxidant that's when you will see what antioxidant have, uh, has done to your skin Okay, that's what when you will see what it has done to your skin. Because right now, you're not going to actually see whatever that it has done to your skin until when the time comes, you for you to see the effect, you will see it. Trust me, guys. Don't expect antioxidants to be the cure to your pimples. Don't expect antioxidants to do magic on your skin right now. What it does is that it helps fight free radicals. It helps prevent uneven skin tone. It helps to prevent sun damages. It helps to fight pollution that causes wrinkles on your skin. And it's a long time thing. As you're using it now, it's working, but you will not see it. Because normally, you know, sometimes when it comes to aging, aging doesn't start now. It doesn't just come and appear. Accumulation of sun damages over the years, you might not see them now. When you, when you, sometimes when you are yeah, in the sun, you don't see those damages. Maybe years down the line, 10 years down the line, you begin to see those damages. That's how antioxidant works. You might not see how it is helping fight those skin sun damages for you until years down the line when your counterpart's own is beginning to show up and yours is not showing up. That is when you will see that antioxidant has been there and fighting for your skin. So, as you're using it, remove your mind from it, lightening you, doing that. Just use it for the benefits of the future, the benefits of using antioxidant. See it as if you're using an antioxidant, and that is what it is. Antioxidant protects you from free radicals, pollution, oxidative stress. You know, that's what it does, guys. I don't want you guys to have unrealistic expectations when it comes to skincare. That is why I'm here for you guys. Nobody, nobody. I don't want you guys to be deceived by anybody. Do not have unrealistic skincare. Mm. Don't, do not have that unrealistic thing going on all over everywhere. Keep using your antioxidant. Keep using it, guys. And years down the line, you will see the effect. Years down the line, you will spend lesser money trying to repair your skin like other people do. Some people, when they're in their 40s, they'll start spending 
millions of dollars trying to repair skin damage when you can actually start now start using your antioxidant even apply some in the morning okay uh, under your sunscreen to help boost the efficacy of your sunscreen okay start using antioxidants now 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 guys you know where my skin is coming from you will take my words for it i've made my researches i've read articles i've done lots of of i've i follow lots of scientists and i read their blogs i need i read so many things to come up with skincare products that actually work for my skin and i believe that if it can actually work for my skin knowing fully well where my skin come where, where i'm coming from for my skin i believe it's going to actually work for you also so do well please please subscribe to my channel share the video if you actually can and also comment can you please guys comment in my second my comment section you guys don't comment you guys don't like the video comment like this video like <laughs> all right guys thank you guys for sticking around bye i know this video is too long but can't help it if i make it short then all the information is going to be here i love you guys bye